Good morning everybody, welcome. Today we're gonna do a wheel seal. Actually, I've got four of them to do on this trailer. Happens to be a nice, brisk Sunday morning. But I'm gonna show you how to install a Rev HD wheel seal. It's my personal opinion, my favorite, but you know, everybody's got their own choice. Stemco makes a great seal. National's all right, you know. And really none of the others are worth using in my opinion, but ah, I'm gonna give you a heads up and show you the exact way that I install wheel seals and my favorite, which like I say is the Rev HD, gives you instructions to install just with a hammer. So here, let's dig in and go from there. All right, now what we're gonna do next is take off the hub bull cap, let it drain down, then back the brake off, pull the drum and kind of assess the situation, which I can tell from looking from the backside, this one's pretty bad shape. So. It is a definite time to change it. So let's get this off and go from there. Usually I'll leave the top bolt in there so I can knock it loose and it don't just fall in the oil. And a lot of times, if you look on the outside edge, this one will give you the actual socket size, which this one is a three and a quarter. It's kind of the newer style instead of the bend over lock. So in my opinion, much better design. So let me go get a 7 16 ratchet. We'll back the brakes off, get the drum off. All right, now I'm gonna back the brakes off all the way off because there's a real good chance this one needs brakes as well so I back it all the way off and kind of go back a quarter turn for the way that I install brakes. There's that quarter turn. Now let's go ahead and yank this drum off. Make it a nice seat. Always inspect your drum. Make sure you're still within tolerance and no heavy cracks towards the outer or inner. And now, make for a great seat for when you get here. Usually this stuff is not super tight, so. And it is quite amazing that this wheel seal did not ruin these brakes. Quite amazed. Now with this style of lock, you can see it's a six point style. You pretty much, as loose as it is, you see, it's turning by hand. All you really do, take your hammer, bump it up on there to unlock the locks. And, ugh, hunt the world. Okay, maybe just add a little trash in the threads. Yeah, usually taking them off, you can just do it by hand, unless it's got the double lock style. Go ahead and yank your front bearing out. And you can kind of let it lean over and drain most of the way out. Just on the end of the hub. And our wheel seal, pretty much the failure point was it separated. Here, we'll show you. You can see, that's one of those things you have to get off that is not meant to be there. Pretty much your wheel seal separated into two pieces. That was your failure issue. Like I was showing before, more or less, this is the inner part of the seal. If you try to slide a new wheel seal on this, you're just set up for failure pretty much. So always if there's the inner piece on the hub, knock your inner out and all you have now is, or your outer out and you, still, you just have your inner in the hub itself. So don't forget that part. Failure is a definite option with that one. All right, I'm gonna show you what we're installing. This is made by Rev HD, it's a Rev Max 
wheel seal with three year warranty and they say no questions asked but haven't had a failure in several so hadn't had to figure out one way or the other but here's your wheel seal you know it's quite nice quite decent has a very thick inner edge with i don't know five or six ribs and a very thick side what this tube is you wipe it around the outside of the seal and they say you got 15 minutes and it pretty much expands the seal to the hub and have no leak points but the big upside is see all these numbers that this seal covers you don't just go get one and you know it covers one this thing covers three from skf and cr they're 3700 and your 3800 25a's from national and all these stem code numbers so very great product at least in my opinion and here's another good part if installing by hands directions with installation tool directions my favorite installing with hammer all right everybody got the hub cleaned up everything inspected got the back bearing installed now it's time to install the rev hd wheel seal and the way rev hd works you know they got the rm for whatever but the to3 i would imagine would be trailer i've got drive seals which is like do2 very very simple you take their installation gel go around the od of the wheel seal like so yeah they give you enough to probably go around it one and a half times most of the time And you just, like I say, go around the OD of the wheel seal. And more or less what this does is make the wheel seal swell to the actual hub itself. So you have no issues with premature failure due to improper sealing. And like I say, you've got a 50 minute time window, 15 minute time window to where this stuff cures. And now to my favorite part. If installing by a hammer, we recommend tapping around the top of the seal in a circular motion until seal has bottomed out. Man, the instructions are awesome. Let me grab my hammer. What I use is one of my tire hammers. Got a rubber end on it just for safety, just so I get, if, if I make a mistake, this is using rubber to steal the rubber to the seal. And very forgiving, very, very forgiving. And that's why I'm quite the fan of the Rev HD wheel seal. Now, I put these on dry, so pretty much if you oil it or grease it, it could hold dirt, prematurely wear the wheel seal. And, you know, kind of clean it up a little bit. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is install the wheel seal in the back bearing and pre-fill the hub makes life a whole lot easier you're not going back and forth back and forth 10 times to get the hub to its full amount so we just take our time here do your best to be centered and just push her home at least to the point where she holds at this point now we just what you're doing is pre-filling this inner area it holds somewhere in the neighborhood of you know quarter to half a quart everybody likes that sound now we're going to install the front bearing and push her on up now that i've got my nut cleaned up more or less this tang goes into this tang and that's the way to tighten it but with this style just go ahead start out by putting your nut down in here because that it spins freely 
without it it's locked that's its locking mechanism so go ahead and pre-install it here get it installed and see that's the way it starts going but like I said make sure as you're tightening and it's starting to push the seal up on the shoulder you're spinning the hub so you don't have it catch on anything right now I'm just spinning it till it starts to catch the front bearing. And most of the time it'll go a fair way up just by using your hands and then you have to grab you a three quarter which I use a pull bar so everybody can use what they like now let's tighten it all the way down Quarter turn, give her a spin both directions. You can reset your socket, make life a little easier on you. Give her a good spin both ways. Tightest we're gonna go on this one. Back her off. Give her a spin again. Now retighten. Quarter turn. Spin and <laughs> reset as we were. Oh come on now. And now that's our final point. Let's back it off a quarter turn or so. Just about one o'clock. See how we feel. Eh, still a little tighter than I like to feel. Still a little more drag than I like. So, like I said, too much drag here for the way I like to feel. So I'm gonna back it off just a little more. That's the fit we're going for. So where's our lock? Right there. have no end play and somehow overfilled it but still our better friend at the moment inspect everything make sure everything's looking as it should give her a good spin which she's quite happy about and now more or less go back the way you started reinstall this put your bolts in inspect your brakes and more or less wheel seal installation done